Let's talk about functions. In JavaScript, we write functions all the time. Say, say hi, and here we'll console.log the word hi, and then we'll return hi again because we really like to party. So we'll invoke this function, run that. It console.logs hi. I can say let um, greeting equal the result of this function, and then I can console.log greeting, and we should get hi twice. Whoops. And cool. That works. So I want to introduce arrow functions real quick. This won't be a real in-depth video on all the capabilities of arrow functions, but I just want you to start thinking about how you might write functions with this new arrow syntax. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the function name, and we're actually going to even remove this function keyword. By having just these two parentheses, an open and close, we're telling ES6 that we have a function. It knows that when we follow that by what they call the fat arrow. So this is essentially like a function definition right here, these four characters. We still, still keep the parentheses as our function body. Now at this point, this function is just anonymous. It is assigned nowhere, we aren't even invoking it. Earlier we called our function say hi. So what we'll do is we'll assign the variable say hi this function. So if I run this, yeah, that just worked. So what happens if you want to take parameters? Maybe you want to take a name. Well, that's what these parentheses are. When we don't have anything in parentheses, we're saying there are no parameters to take. So now we'll change this to use a template literal and we'll say, hello. Oh my goodness. Name. And then we'll return hello name. Whoops. So here we'll give our say hi, the name Jason. We'll run that code. And yeah, it not only consoles that in the function call, but then we return that, store that in the greeting variable, and then log it out. But really, I mean, this is just an obscure example. What happens if we don't want to log this out? Because we're duplicating ourselves, right? So we just have this one line that returns hello. So if I save this, run it, yeah, we just get that one hello JSON now. Well, one of the cool things about the arrow function is that when we only just have one expression we want to return, we can actually delete the curly braces and then just on the same line, followed by the fat arrow, just give the expression we want to return. We save that, run it, yeah, and it works as normal. It's the same thing as writing return, and then our string. That's pretty cool. This is just a real basic introduction to arrow functions. They have more capability and are used in really cool ways in JavaScript now.